Everywhere I go, I keep a picture in my wallet like you. Take a look at my girlfriend. She's the only one I got. Hi everyone, we're from Nice. I'm Professor L. I'm Professor Bell. I'm Professor Cat. I'm Professor Lau. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, okay, hold up. So for today, we're going to do an exam practice for biology and English subject. And for this exam practice, we're going to get to know about tissues. Stop thinking because things about to go down. Tissue is a group of cells that have similar structure and that function together as a unit. Now we're going to have a quick check out about tissues in the human body. <laughs> to take a closer look to the tissue, we need to use a microscope. And we're going to show you how to use the microscope. We're gonna use the cuboidal epithelial tissue as an example. And here's the result. The neural tissue is found in the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. It is responsible for coordinating and controlling many body activities. Let's have a look, shall we? Blood is one of the connective tissues. As a connective tissue, it consists of cells and cell fragments suspended in an intercellular matrix. Blood is the only liquid tissue in the body that measures about 5 liters in the adult human and accounts for 8% of the human body weight. Pleura is a thin layer of tissue that covers the lungs and lines the interior wall of the chest cavity. The skeletal tissue is a connective tissue that provides support and protection. So does the skin tissue that provides a protective barrier against mechanical, thermal, and physical injury to the body. The elastic cartilage tissue can bend and move to function. Not all neural tissue looks the same. So here is another example of it. Glandular tissue are small sections of tissue found inside lobes that produce milk in the human body. Flat epithelia forms the lining of respiratory, digestive, reproductive, and excretory tracts. And this is a heart bone tissue. Red bone marrow contains blood stem cells that can become red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Connective tissue is a term given to several body tissues that connect, support, and help bind other tissues. And last but not least, we're going to have a look to the development of bone tissue. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you.